PCIe 4.0 devices are becoming increasingly prevalent. Support for PCIe 4.0 was added with 11th gen Intel Core CPUs and motherboards. And now the 12th gen platform offers PCIe 5 and full backward compatibility for PCIe 4 and PCIe 3 devices. So in this video we are going to compare PCIe 4 and PCIe 5. So what is PCIe 4.0? If you have built a PC before, you will recognize the PCIe slots running horizontally across your motherboard. PCIe stands for Peripheral Component Interconnect Express, is a high bandwidth expansion bus commonly used to connect graphics cards and SSDs as well, that is NVMe M.2, as well as peripherals like capture cards and wireless cards as well. On the motherboards, PCIe lanes appear in X1, X2, X4, X8 and X16. X16 is the most used one. More len lanes mean more bandwidth. So the number increases, so the bandwidth also increases. GPUs are usually installed in the top of the X16 slot. Each generation of PCIe is twice as fast as its predecessor. For example, PCIe 3 had a data transfer rate of 8 giga transfers per second and PCIe 4 transfers data at 16 giga transfer per second that, that is GTPS and PCIe 5 is at 32 GT per second. Now the question is what are PCIe lanes? The, a key advantage of 12th and 11th gen Intel Core CPU is the addition of CPU G PCIe lanes following the new standards. 12th gen Intel Core CPUs provide up to 16 CPU PCIe 5.0 lens and up to 4 CPU PCIe 4.0 lens while 11th gen Intel Core CPUs like the Intel Core i9-11900K that is unlocked provide up to 20 CPU PCIe 4.0 lens that is a huge number okay so why upgrade to PCIe 4 as mother uh, as mentioned above each generation of PCIe doubles in thorough put but the real benefit of PCIe 5 is full backwards compatibility and future proofing you know that uh, new hardware won't be bottlenecked on your system currently PCIe 4.0 SSDs are designed to have higher maximum read or write speeds than PCIe 3 SSDs okay so one way this may happen is through upcoming technologies like direct storage which are designed to improve SSD performance in heavy input output workloads. The higher bandwidth of PCIe 4 and 5 may also benefit graphics cards as higher throughput helps allow quicker transfer of data to virtual RAM that is VRAM. So in short 12th gen and 11th gen desktops provide a platform that gives you the freedom to upgrade. So what do I need for PCIe 4 or 5? CPU. For PCIe 5 you will need a 12th gen Intel Core CPU which is built to support gaming from the ground up with up to 16 CPU PCIe 5.0 lens and up to 4 CPU PCIe 4.0 lens. For 4.0 you will need a 11th gen Intel Core desktop CPU. Motherboard. For a 12th gen CPU, you will need a 600 series chipset with an LGA that is land grade array 1700 socket. For 11th gen, you will want a 500 series motherboard from the Z590 or B560 lines. So these were the differences between PCIe 4.0 and PCIe 5.0. So if you like this video, please leave a like on the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, then do consider subscribing. Your one like and your one subscription is a huge motivation for us to make more and more videos. Thanks for watching.